Hello and welcome to, to Podcast, Podcast But Outside. My name is Andrew Michon. And my name is Cool Church. This is normally a show where Cole and I set up a table on the sidewalk and interview strangers, but this episode is a little different, Cole. Thank you for letting me know. It is a little different because, well, I'll tell you. If you're on TikTok or have seen any TikTok compilations, you've most likely seen TikTok user Desiah19. According to his Instagram bio, he is 19, lives in LA, is a pre-med student, adores singing, and have a good day. He's gained over 115,000 followers and garnished millions by posting singing videos. Have you ever done that? Garnished millions? What do yeah. you mean? Get, is garnish the right word? You said garnished millions of what? Of likes. You didn't say that. Uh, well, he's garnished millions of likes. I don't know if garnish is the right word, but we're going to go for it. Some of the songs that he sings are... Me? Co- no. Some of the songs that Desiah sings oh. are covers. We could have the time. He also covers songs that he then rewrites with his own original lyrics. Additionally, he can perfectly replicate Ariana Grande's whistle note. I can perfectly replicate Ariana Grande's face. Really? Yeah, it's, and when I uh, steal her phone, I can unlock it. Can you do it right now? No. Okay. The support he receives on every video he uploads is overwhelming. On the Daily Desire gets hundreds of comments that mostly people referring to him as their king. Um, people say things like, a legend in the making. Didn't know Adele had a TikTok. Those high notes are at Christina Aguilera level. I love your work. Please let me interview you on my podcast, Podcast But Outside. Sounds like, oh, the last one was you. That last one was mine, Andrew. And it was one of many comments that I've left over the past few months because I've been desperate to get him onto this show. I want to dig deep into the concept that is desire. What do you mean concept? I thought he was a person. He is an enigma, Andrew. I don't think you're allowed to say that word. No. (laughs) I <laughs> probably can't use that. <laughs> Who is he really? What makes him tick? What makes him talk? What makes him talk? Like talk talk, as in talking. Can he talk? I've only ever heard him sing. I hope he sings the whole interview. That'd be kind of nice. That would be a home run for us. And we could use it. We could use a win. We could. Yeah. Striking out. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we'll get the answers to most of these questions in the first edition of Podcast, but Ticked... Po- t- tick or I should have come up with a name first. I mean, this is just podcast, but outside we're just interviewing this guy who is on TikTok. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't think it needs a new name for the show. In the first edition of New Segment, please welcome the savior of singing, the hero of high notes, the CEO of falsetto. Is it Michael Jackson? No, it's Desire. Her inner, he's going oh, inside. I, what is the, descri- the description you gave made me think of Michael Jackson. I oh. thought, holy shit, that'd be huge. But no, well, he's like canceled and stuff, and he's also he's dead. He's dead. He's canceled yeah. and dead. I guess that's true. Please welcome Desire. Hello. Desire, hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Desire, I have been trying to get you on the show for so long. Have mm-hmm. you Have you seen my comments on your TikToks? Yeah, but you know, like... I was just so nervous about it. At one point, you said no to me. Did you? Was that just because you were nervous? Yeah. Yeah. I was just, I, till now, I'm still nervous. Okay. okay. What What finally made you decide to agree? One of my friends, she told me like, "Don't be nervous. Just do the interview." You know, like, yeah, that's it. And cool. Said, okay. Good friend. So, are you new in LA? Um, I've been in LA like. For one year. Okay. And what did you move here for? Actually, like, it's a big story. When I was, like, 15 years old, I was just dreaming to come to America, you know. And, yeah, it wasn't easy to come to here. You know, like, at the first time when I came here, I couldn't speak as well as I can right now, you know. So I tried my best, you know, like, to speak with the others and to learn the English language. You don't want to say where you moved from? 
the uh, okay. Yeah. Your English is very good, so thank you. I'm, that. Yeah, thank you. I'm. I don't think you need to be nervous. You're good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. why why did you want to come to L.A. so bad? What do you want to do here? When I was 15 years old, I just I was dreaming to come here. On like at the first time when I heard Adele, you know Adele, mm-hmm. right? Adele. So when I heard one of her songs. I just started to translate her lyrics. So after that, I was just dreaming, you know, like I want to be a singer. I want to improve myself when I go to America, you know, like I want to study there, you know. So since I was 15 years old, like I'm right now 19 years old, you know, it wasn't easy at all. Yeah, just to improve myself. Okay, so Adele is your idol. Do you have any other musical idols? Mm, One Direction. Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, Whitney Houston. Have you met any other singers in L.A. since you've been here? No. Since I came here, I was just so busy, you know, like improving my English and like applying for the universities, you know, it just... Yeah, in your bio, it says you're a pre-med student. How long yeah, you... Yeah, I'm a pre-med student. So what, what kind of medicine are you trying to get into? I'm taking chemistry classes mm-hmm. and the next year i'm gonna take i'm gonna major in biology and then after the four years i'm gonna um, take the mcat Mm. you know the mcat yeah Mm -hmm. then when i pass i'll go to the medical school do you want to be a doctor is that what you ultimately want yeah cool okay would you rather be a singer or a doctor actually i love singing but at the same time i have to study Mm. you know so Mm. that's why i have to what do you think is more healing, the power of medicine or the power of song? Mm, both of them, I can't say. Okay, you okay. got to use both. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you could be the Patch Adams of yeah, singing doctors. Singing, yeah, you could <laughs> sing people back to health. I like yeah. that. You've been posting on TikTok. You've been gaining a lot of fame from that. Mm-hmm. Has TikTok fame changed you at all? It just made me more humble with the others you know like i've never thought in my life like i'm gonna get like a lot of views or like a lot of people will pay attention to me you know i was just like okay like that just happened suddenly Mm. i've never expected that Mm. to be honest what was what was the first video of yours that blew up um the song that i wrote which is Cooler than a mother? Am I strange? Mm-hmm. That's no. my favorite mm-hmm. song. Uh, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite video of yours. And I notice it's not on your profile anymore. Desire, what's up with that? Actually, um, you know, I'm still learning. You know, like every day I practice. You know, like I love music. I love singing. So I just realized my singing was bad. You know, you know, like when I did the video. I've never expected it's going to mm. go viral, you know, mm-hmm. so, yeah. But people like the journey. People want to see where you were a year ago and where you are now. You can't delete your old videos. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. Is it deleted or is it just set to private? No, I deleted the video. Deleted it. No. You know you can just set it to private. <laughs> you didn't have to delete it. You can see it on YouTube, like a lot of people... You can. Uploaded the video there, you know. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but are you comfortable with it being on YouTube? Or would you rather it not be there? Or like, are you embarrassed of it? Um, I just know. Really, mm. I just know. I'm, I'm still nervous. <laughs> oh, that's no, okay. I'm talking so, like, so nervous. You're yeah. doing so good. Sorry about that. No. No, you're doing great. With fame comes hate. Do you have a lot of haters? Um, I take the hate and I make it to love, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm. How do you handle that? Do you do you ever talk back to your haters? No, like I shouldn't say bad things. You know, like uh, on TikTok, there are people like underage, you know, mm-hmm. like I have to be respectful as much as I can because mm-hmm. I'm um, responsible mm. about what I say, you know, so okay. that's it. Have you ever been recognized on the street from your TikToks? 
like actually i'm staying home all the time well yeah now so. now yeah, now. But, but, <laughs> yeah. but before <laughs> yeah what about before though before like i think when my video went viral like we were already like in quarantine you know so oh yeah 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 so when you first started uploading on TikTok, was it just for yourself, just to have your own videos, just so you can see your singing, or was it? Did you expect people to see it, or what did you want out of that? I signed up for TikTok, you know, like I said to myself, like I'm gonna see people, people, sorry, mm -hmm. better than me, so I'm gonna learn from them, mm -hmm. learn from them, and at the same time, um, I can communicate with the others, you know. Mm. So yeah, and I'm grateful for that. And at the same time, I take criti criticism, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just wanted to get better at singing and keep yeah. making your stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So with your with the songs that you write, what inspires your lyrics? Like, how do you come up with your lyrics? Mm. From my experiences, I can't say. Like, the Cooler Than a Mother one. That's a, That song was about, like... About me. About you. Talks about me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I know you didn't want to talk about your lyrics, right? You didn't want to yeah. dive deep into those? Mm -hmm. Okay. So a little private about the lyrics. That's fine. Um, would you be comfortable if I were to analyze one of your songs and just <laughs> see it, how I interpret it? You don't have to say if I'm right or wrong, but... Okay. You okay? I want to see this. Can yeah. I? Is, okay, so I'll just with that song that you, the cooler than a mother. Mm -hmm. Here's how I interpret it. I'm assuming you're leaving it up for interpretation, so that so I, I want to tell you how, what I thought the lyrics meant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first line. Am can, I? Can you sing it? Am I strange? Cause <laughs> everyone says. So, that one means that everyone's saying you're strange. Okay, got That's it. That's how I interpret it. Okay. I sway like a mural, mu mural more than a color, trouble like a dollar. Sway like a mural. I think that means you're outside, like you're outside just kind of swaying in the wind, okay. going, going with your own groove, trying to, you know, just existing by yourself. More than a color. You're more than, you're more than one defined... Mm concrete thing mm. that's how i you're more than that and then trouble like a dollar money is evil mm. money is the root of all evil mm -hmm. so that's the that's that's what it is M but trouble like, like a but dollar you're, you're in trouble you're kind of bad guy trouble like a dollar yeah okay well okay. that's yeah like he's not perfect no he's one's not per perfect no one's perfect i got it okay. okay um cooler than a mother i think mother is short for mother effer Ooh. okay but my mom like, is also kind of cool. My mother is mothers cool. Mothers are cool. I don't know. My, I like yeah. my mother. Um, beautiful like a daughter. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Hey, all daughters are beautiful. Less masculine than Spider-Man the Maroon. Hmm. My favorite line. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think it's everyone's favorite line. And everyone, everyone's biggest question is less masculine than Spider-Man the Maroon. You're... I know you're not going to answer, so I'll answer for you. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man, there's two Spider-Mans. There's the Black Venom one, sure. and then there's the Maroon one. The yeah. Black Venom one is bigger, stronger. So mm. he's less masculine than Spider-Man the Maroon, the the red sure. one, reddish maroon one. Uh -huh. So he's less masculine than that. But he's still masculine. Still I mean, masculine. Because when he gets bit by the spider, he bulks up. Mm -hmm. you know? So he's just a little less masculine. A little less. So he's not weak. He's just not as... He's not the strongest. Sure. Got and it. no one is the strongest. That's true. Except for One Venom. person. Venom. Venom. Yeah, no Venom. And then everybody times six, even though it was actually times four, that's fine on the video. Um, where, do you see, where do you find everybody times six? It says so it, in the text? On the captions, it was oh. everybody times... It's so only four. Everybody, everybody, everybody speaks like the moody liar. Again, self-explanatory. I think it's it, everyone's. No one's. No one's truthful, especially mm. in L.A. Mm. I think you wrote that after you moved to L.A. Right. He or, met a few or, people. Met a few people. No one's yep. telling the truth. He ordered a 16-ounce drink. Got a 12-ounce. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. They're all moody. They're all moody. Um, everybody hates that monstrous face in the mirror. 
Ooh. That one I think cuts deep. No That's one everyone secretly hates themselves. Mm. So when they're looking in the mirror, they right. they don't like what they see. But they, uh, as an alternate interpretation, there could be a monster behind you. Mm. That's I don't true. know. Just an idea. Maybe a physical. Maybe maybe, ve- maybe venom. Maybe venom. Knows nothing like a green color. Green color. Hmm. I think green is synonymous with envy and jealousy and greed. And money. And money. Mm. So you know nothing but that. Mm. So you know nothing but greed. Um, and then scares the heart in the night horror. Mm. Scares that. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think just means. What it says. What it says. Yeah. So that's how I that's how I interpreted it. I like that. And I that was my first time hearing it. So for me, you know, I was coming to it with fresh perspective. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, I'll be thinking about those lyrics for a while. It's good. I liked it. Good. Huh. I love it. And I think you should keep writing your more more original songs. Yeah, I like, the, I like the I like the originals, yeah. I would like to explain, but no, I'm no, just you, nervous. You don't want to, it's yeah, okay. You know, what, whatever you're comfortable <laughs> with. Don't worry about it. Keep up the mystery. I, I love the idea though of like we us like us really missing it, like doing a bad job, and you're sitting there like, well, they're not getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that? Are you, did we get? Or were we more or less on the right or wrong side? Were we more like with the lyrics? Yeah. yeah. How we, did how did we do? Um, okay, the, in the middle. Wrong. 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 Okay, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Can't explain it. Can't explain it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, am I strange? Am I strange? Means am, I'm strange. Mm. Okay. Because everyone says. Because everyone says, uh, "Am I strange?" Because everyone says, "Sway like a mural." Because like, sway like a mural. Like I do things differently. You know, mm. like I do things differently than the others do. You know. Mm. Mm-hmm. So like, um, yeah, and then. So we're like a more than a color. I just put that line there to make it like, mm-hmm. you know, more than color. Travel like a dollar, you know, like travel like a dollar, like just it's something you shouldn't talk about. Like I give you a dollar, mm-hmm. and you know, like it's just like, how can I explain that? Mm. Mm. Travel like a dollar. Wait, travel like a dollar. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, Trouble like a dollar. It's like, yeah. Trouble like a dollar. It means like I give you a dollar and like it just, this is the solution. It's mm. just easy problem. Like mm. you shouldn't judge the others, you know, or something like that. Mm. Trouble like a dollar. Cooler than a mother. Like I'm cooler mm. than a mother, you know. <laughs> yeah. okay. So that's why people say right. I. Uh, Mothers are usually known for being cool, right? So you're even like cooler than yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. it. Yeah. And beautiful like a daughter, like beautiful like a daughter, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've beautiful seen Beautiful as a daughter. Yeah. Um, less masculine, that's Spider-Man, the maroon, like, less masculine, you know, like, people say, like, you are less masculine, you know, like, um, say bad things about me, mm. you know. So, yeah, okay. less masculine, that's Spider-Man, the maroon. Um, and the maroon, is that just, ev- the maroon part, that's just like the color of his outfit, the the maroon yeah. color yeah almost yeah almost. Okay. Yeah. and then everybody everybody like i put that line you know like when he was singing the song my lyrics sorry um it was like you know like i planned to say the everybody six times but i had no time so <laughs> i i said that like for four times you know it worked out it fit yeah <laughs> i i liked it mm-hmm. uh knows nothing like a green color Green means one of my teachers, uh, when it came to LA, when I started to learn the English language, um, he taught us that the green means like um, someone knows less, you know, like. Oh, yes, yes, mm. yes. New. Someone's yeah. new. Oh, green. Green, yes. Like a green thumb, like you're new at something. No, no, green thumb is good. It's like you're oh, green right. at something. You're oh, new at you're it. Oh, you're new. Yeah, like yeah. fresh grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Green color. Um, I forgot the lyrics. Wait. Um, green color. Well, you forgot about everybody hates the mu- monster's face in the mirror. Yeah, everybody hates the that mo- monster's face in the mirror. Cause like when he was young, you know, like I had like suddenly I had a lot 
of acne, you know, like mm. then mm. I was just so sad, you know, like how people like say like you look like a monster, you know, like people say just you know hmm? people said that to you? Yeah. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yeah, that was mean, but like yeah, I came okay with it, you know, so that's what I meant when I said mm. Okay. And then speaks like the moody liar. Like yeah, speaks like the moody liar, like everyone says wrong things about me mm. that's like are not true you know are not true okay so and then right. um, final line yeah scares that heart in the night horror and yeah scares that night in the night horror people used to like scare me you know like when like when he was 16 yeah when he was 16 years old like I got that acne on my face mm. and people like Back to that. started like to bully me, you know, or say like, you are a monster. How can you go outside like with your face like that? You know, like it just was scary for me, you know. So. I can't even tell. There's not even a scar on your face. No, you look good. Yeah, I'm just 19 years old right now. So yeah. Yeah. you're over it. I had acne in high school, too, and I never wanted to leave the house. Yeah, but it was like just it was so bad, you know. Like, I had a treatment for six months, mm -hmm. and then I went to the doctors a lot of times, yeah. a lot mm -hmm. of times, you know. Just it was, it wasn't well, easy to me. Well, you look good now, and you know maybe. Thank you. Appreciate that. And also, maybe that experience, you know, showed you a little bit about yourself and a little bit about other people, and maybe you learned from it, you know. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes adversity, sometimes things that are hard make you into a better person. So mm -hmm. That's right. And, yeah. and we got the song to prove it. So mm -hmm. That's good. So I posted on TikTok telling I was going to interview you. And I asked, I asked if fans had questions for you. The three of the most asked questions. Would you ever date a fan? Mm, I don't know, really. No? Mm. I don't know. I... I prefer to say friend, friend, to friend, a fan, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't like saying my fans or something like that. I just, I want to be like as anybody else, mm. you know, so I prefer saying, oh, you, you call them friends instead of fans. Yeah. I like oh, that. Yeah, okay. I like that. Okay. Cool. The person Thank who you. asked it had a bunch of like emojis next to it said, would you ever date a fan? And it was as if that person really wanted to date you. I think badly. they just wanted to date you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see your singing career going in the future or your social media? Mm, I'm focusing on on my studying. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, like I sing and I study at the same time, you know, like I just post every single day because like we are all at home, you mm -hmm. know, so we do nothing like I attend my class, you know, I attend my class. Uh, on zoom you know mm -hmm. so then like most of the time like what i should do you know like you know so like when but when i take the um, classes in person like i'm gonna almost quit tiktok you know mm. it's like just university is isn't easy yeah mm -hmm. okay so, so your, your fans out there might want the pandemic to continue longer so that you sing more songs mm -hmm. <laughs> they might be spreading the virus so that you stay <laughs> home <laughs> <laughs> it might be happening. Yeah, I know. I'm going to start spreading it he's more. Gonna, he's going to start so you spreading can, it. So you can keep posting. <laughs> yeah. Someone says, how do you feel about being the most talented person on earth? Wow. I'm not talented. You're not? Honestly, I'm not. No. Huh. Okay, wait. So you, wait. Oh, you said you'd take Zoom classes. Do other students in those classes know that you're on TikTok? No. No? Mm. Nobody knows. Mm. No. Wow. Is Desire your real name? No. Whoa, my real name. a stage name. <laughs> I like that. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you want to keep that a mystery? Yeah. yeah. I like that. I is like that, that is that a name you you just chose that yourself? Yeah. I told one of my friends, like, I'm going to name myself Desire. And she told me, like, that's a hard name. Like, so it's okay. Like, you know, I just, I'll go with it. You it know? sounds like Desire. Mm-hmm. Is that and, why? Is that why yeah. you chose it? Because it sounds like Desire? 
And are you going to change mm-hmm. it to Desire 20 when you have your next birthday? Actually, I'm going to be 20 in two months. What are you going to do? September. Are you yeah. going to change your TikTok name? No, I'm not going to change <laughs> that. You're not going to change it? What's, okay. the, what's the 19 for, though? <laughs> My age. Oh, okay. Okay. So you'll keep it you'll even keep, you'll when keep you're it. 20? Okay. How old are you? How old do I look? How old, does how, he look? how old do you think I am? Hmm. The beard's fake. 32? 32. I'll tell you what. You're you're remaining mysterious about some stuff. I'll remain mysterious about that. Okay. In a couple months... <laughs> That's in a, good. In a couple months, your TikTok username will be a complete lie. Desire19. <laughs> not Desire, not 19. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, the most asked question. What is a munter? You you made a song with the the hunter and the munter, one of my favorites. <laughs> the hunter, the hunter, he got me with the cheese. The munter, the hunter, ow, the hunter, he got me with the cheese. The munter. Hmm, munter, munter. Actually, like. Means nothing to be honest, okay. you know, but like when I did the lyrics, you know, when you go to to Google, you will like they will explain that as like um, an ugly person or something like that. But I didn't mean that at all. I mm. just I wanted to put a word, mm. you know, appropriate with the, with the hunt. hunter. So, okay, hunter, hunter, you know. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, desire. Thank you so much. Any, any final, final thoughts? thoughts you want to get out into the world about yourself or your um, singing? Thank you all so much. And thank you for the love. And yeah, that's it. And thank you for interviewing me. Yeah. And sorry about being nervous. No. Yeah. no. Thank no. you so much, guys. You were perfect. Great. You were awesome. Any message, for, you. any message for your fans? For my friends, I love you all. Fra- friends. 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 Yes. He loves you. Okay. Well, I hope you continue to sing and make videos specifically more lyric videos because those are everyone's favorite i think and i think it's i think it's true art yeah every episode for our show we have a new theme song that some one of our fans records we were wondering if if at some point you would just sing us a little ditty that says podcast but outside Um. you don't have to do it right now but you could also send it in Late at some point later, just a little voice audio that says podcast, but outside. I wish you told me before, so I'm not prepared. Oh, so sure, okay. yeah, okay. I'll do it. I'll send it. Okay, you. just send it to Great. Cole. Yeah, just send say it to podcast, me. but outside. Yeah, people would love it. Okay, people would love it, Desire. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, thank you. Thank That's you. It. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, we thank love you. you. And of you know course. what? I didn't know about you very much before, but I gotta say now, I'm your friend. Thank you. You're, You're of course. Friend. You're welcome. Thank you. We're thank friends. You guys. Okay, thank you, Desire. Bye, Desire. Bye, bye. Take care. I'll see bye. you. I'll see you on TikTok. See you on TikTok. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Be well. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Podcast, but outside.